All right, man. So my Saturday, I got a thousand subs finally. Thank you to my brother, uh, Rod J. Thank you, bro, for you and your peeps getting together and pushing me up to a thousand subs, man. That is so freaking cool. Appreciate that, man. So we're going to make a stew here. It's going to be a little different um, recipe. Not much different, but slightly different. So we're just going to see how it goes. All right. Sound cool? Get that unwound there. Okay. Yeah. So set it up here a little bit. Try to get set up here. It's probably late for most of y'all, but it's my Saturday. I'm up late and just thought I'd get this going here after I get this untangled. There we go. So I'm really grateful for Rod J for, you know, coming up with that, getting his people together and getting me up over a thousand. Now I just need to get the um, the uh, views and I'll be able to get monetized fully. Okay. The views are almost there too. So doing live stuff like this will definitely help, you know. So... <clears throat> I'm not going to have any music this time in the background because it's pretty late. But I did want to get this going uh, tonight because I uh, need to have some grub for the week. Let's see here. Let me get something going here. Just watch some regular TV. divided along racial lines and the evidence was divided this was simpson's last social media post in february my health is good i mean obviously i'm dealing with some issues yeah you're dealing with cancer dude you're dead, dead now shit all right once known for running into the record hey. on the field and for showing hey, people on the big and small screen but Simpson went from famous <laughs> I don't to chug anymore, Sparkles. I'm not a chugger. I'm a sipper, man. I 12, no, never was. Oh, yeah, I, mean, I got to worry about that. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Hopefully it's low enough where they won't pick up on it. By the way, I hope you're feeling better, Sparkle. I, I know it's going around. I'm still having a lung issue. Uh, it's been like a month, actually. And I've still got like some weird congestion in my lungs. So, uh, you know, pretty bad this year. See here. Yeah, I should be all right. Hopefully. I'm going to. I keep saying I'm going to go to the doctors, but, you know, I've been kind of flaky on that a little bit. You know, easier said than done. Uh, me and Chatty, Chatty told me we've been on, on um, been talking. He's my bro. He told me. So let's see here. Uh, <coughs> see, <coughs> there we go. A little bit of this in there. Uh, let's see. So, different, a little different, a little different um, uh, recipe this time. So, it's kind of a maybe a bungee jump. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. By the way, those are privates. Those are not um, lives. So let's see here. I haven't been on lives as much lately. Just um, the whole drama between him and Angie. I don't want to be like in the middle. I'm friends with both of them. 
I don't have no problem with anybody. Check this puppy out. Hopefully, uh, this will turn out good because, um, that's a lot of meat. Shit. Huh. Let's see here. What? You don't get cuts like that? Well, you don't have Stater Brothers either. Check this out. That's well, Stater Brothers is a different. We're, I think we're only California, but this is like twelve and a half dollars. Okay. Pretty damn good price, man. Big old, nice cut, man. Not like honestly, a lot of other places cuts like this. Um. Are going for like 20 bucks. Yeah, it's Chuck. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, Stater Brothers. They brought. Okay, so. Well, I just popped by. Um, if I start coughing, you know, it's like probably COVID. I don't know. I don't know. I have health insurance. I should use it, right? <laughs> so, got this. 250. Uh, I wish I could get this little thing. How do you get that little heart thing out of the way so I can read this shit? Stuck there. Okay. Um, how do you get that little heart thing out of the way? Blocking like the tail end of your messages there. Okay, um, 50, uh, uh, oh yeah, minimum wage here is like 16, so it's, shoot, over here they're getting, the fast food workers are getting 20 bucks an hour, huh. shit, they're getting, but they're doing a lot more work now, so the difference here, I still got more, sorry, hang on. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a big old batch. It's going to be a big batch. Okay. I mean, you know, when you're sick, you got to eat, you know? You got to eat. Yeah, I got a chronic, I got, I got a chronic cough, man. I, I can't, I've had it for a month. Like, I'll be talking and I, it'll be like just, I can't help but cough. It's fucking embarrassing. Searing it. Really? Huh. I could do that. And I got I got a pan right there. I just cooked a steak like an hour ago. <laughs> I think I should leave the steak juice in it. I could sear it. Get it super duper hot. I could do that. Do that. Here. Oh, I'm gonna see it. Good idea. Good looking out, Sparkle. Put a little pan in the pan. Super duper hot. You can see it. So cool. Check this puppy out. Man. I already put water in the steak juice, unfortunately. Look at that thing. Ease. Or my name is me. <laughs> I know I'm a weirdo. What can I say? That's a nice chunk of meat, man. Shoot, can me? That's a lot of meat for twelve dollars. It almost—it's almost like filet mignon if you like diced it up and you know put it on a grill. Shoot. Oh, there, I put too much water. I'll just do it in the pan. Dryer right, better. Okay, yeah. I just put a little Pam in the pan, and then I'm just going to get it super hot, and then just slap it on there. It said two minutes aside. Should do it. Okay. 
<coughs> it's not my freaking, it's not my um, cast iron, unfortunately. That's the one that's got the old water grease in it. I can do it. I shall do it. I can do. Guess what Rod J did for me tonight? He got me over a thousand. He, he got me up to a thousand subs. He, him and his bunch of his friends got together. He got a bunch of his friends that subscribed to me. And now I got over a thousand subs. Thanks to Rod J. He's the man. He is a very, very, very good dude. Yeah. I call him Baby Yoda. <laughs> so I'll wait till that starts smoking, I guess, and then, you know, should I put anything on here? Like, you know, I got some seasonings. Maybe not. The hell? Think so? Okay. All right, I'm going to do it. Just a little bit. Okay. Let's see. <coughs> I'll, wait, I'll wait for it to turn to 1109, and then I'll do it. Okay, there it is. Okay, so I'll go for two minutes. Okay. I'll go for two minutes. Okay. So if it was nine, and so it gets to 11, I'll turn it. Should I hold it out and let the hand, the pan heat back up before I put it back in? See? It pays to have people around to help you figure stuff out, right? That's bubbling a little bit. Two minutes, one side. Good. Okay, that's what I'll do. I shall do that. So half my day was in a funk. I woke up in a funk, so I slept it off, fortunately. A depressed, depressive funk. But my cure for that is sleep. I feel better now. So it happens. It happens to the best of us. Okay, there's 10. So... That smells so good. She sure, sure I can't just fry that big old thing on the pan there and eat it. That smells good. Okay. Yep. Okay. Well, my, my, <laughs> All right. Wow, oh, minutes long when you got one of these puppies going. Holy crap. <clears throat> so over this freaking cough, man, I swear. I'm wondering if it's allergies or something. I don't know. There's one minute. Yeah. It helps if you watch it or stare at it, right? Really? Huh. Maybe it will. Well, good. Nice deep breath of meat fumes. Okay, there's two minutes. Okay, nine, ten, seven, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Two minutes. I'm turning it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That seared it. That seared it all right. So I have 12, 13, 14 will be done. Got, got the whole thing seared. All right. See you. So. Okay. All right, never thought of that before. 
actually pays to have someone experienced in the house. You know what I'm saying? Uh, habaneros, I'd get baboon butt from that. No way. Uh -uh. I don't need no baboon butt. I do have a jalapeno, though. But I can't handle the habanero. I'll straight have baboon butt the next day. No way, dude. There we go. That won't give me baboon butt. All right. Oh, fork, where are thou? Maybe I should have a beer. Should I have a beer? Yes or no? Like my shirt? That's a really good one. Oh, yeah? Oh. Cool. Okay, I'm going to have a beer. Twist my arm enough. I got one minute to get it. Beer time. Oh, yeah. Check this out. This good stuff. All right. 14. Wait. Oh, okay. Let me get glass. <coughs> there it is. Let me, let me, let me get it out. The beauty of the crock pot. Boom. Take a gander. Okay. Okay. In it goes. Boom. I think you're onto something there, Sparkles. Yeah. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah, it gets seared both sides. Okay, boom. That's good. You can get this beer poured. Put a little bit of this. <coughs> Start. See what I mean? That little, like, volcanic, spontaneous cough. It gets old. Should I put this in now just to... Oh. There was, there's not really enough in there to drip. I, I don't... Well, maybe. Let me see. Oh yeah, there's some. There's some. Oh yeah, there you go. Ah, sorry. Oh yeah, it got drippings for sure. Nice. It's probably got tons of flavor. The drippings, right? Okay. Look at you. I'm gonna have to notify you whenever I do this. <laughs> Give me some tips. Okay, just to keep it, you know. <coughs> you hear the train? Pretty cool, huh? So let's pour this here. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> that's why I need, I need to find a girlfriend or something that that's like you, that likes to cook. I guess my my time to learn. Knowing me, I'll find I'll find a girlfriend that wants a man that can cook, and then I'll end up doing everything. You know, that's okay. As long as she uh, feeds the machine. Look at that beer. Bet you like this one, Sparkle. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Tom. No, Tom. Tom's cool. It is. It is actually Sparkle. I just reviewed this, and I put it in the top five best hazy New England style beers I've ever had. This one right here. Freaking was awesome. Super duper good. 
<coughs> oh man, it's supposed to start raining Saturday, but at least it's sunny tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow. It's my Saturday, so. I've been real lazy lately, like unmotivated to do shit, you know. Uh, you know, I'm going to be taking a break from drinking here on the 17th because that, that'll be my one year anniversary. No drugs. So I'm going to celebrate by taking a break from drinking for however long. I, a minimum of two weeks for sure. So, but I want to take a break. Get back in the gym. Get back on my race bikes. Yep. Jensen and... Where the energy okay make me happy and make me happy. oh interesting if you can send me links on facebook I'll, I'll check into it when you have time so, you know I'm all about herbs i don't do weed no more though you know just saying but i know herbs are a real thing there's no doubt about it they're definitely a real thing because indians are not full of shit they're, they knew what was up so the chinese they know what was up Man, this seems so good. I don't know if you're into hazies, but if you see this, Sparkle, <coughs> I recommend it. <coughs> mm. Dang, it. I haven't had a cough like this in a long, long, long time, man. I don't know. Maybe I got COVID. Maybe. I don't know. That was a good looking beer. That's a good idea, searing that shoot. Indian, oh, nice. Oh yeah, wow. I would rec. I would prefer um, natural natural remedies over, you know, Western crap. Probably because of Western medicine, we have some of these anyways that are like hard to treat. You know. I got this too. Look, this is going to be a new edition. Okay. Never tried it before. I'm going to try it. But I got a bunch of veggies. And a difference, one of the things I'm going to do, uh, let me see your opinion on this. Okay. All right. Good deal. I'm going to add this um, cabbage. You think I could put cabbage in my beef stew? Just asking. I don't know. If not, I'll just dice it up and put it in my salad for lunch at work. Let me know what you think. Cabbage, green cabbage and beef stew. I wanted it for the the um the effects of fiber. You know what I'm saying? I've been eating salads for lunch instead of Taco Bell lately, so I want to keep that going. <coughs> and eating like maybe good idea okay all right well i'm experimenting so you know i'm trying to get away from processed foods basically is what i'm trying to say okay i want to be able to cook my own stuff like like my basket was full of veggies today when i went shopping and that's the way i want to keep it you know meat and veggies like um, tomorrow for dinner. Oh yeah, I got carrots and potatoes. Yep, 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 yep. I got um, tomatoes, onion, garlic, uh, cabbage, celery, yellow pepper, red pepper, green pepper, jalapeno, yellow squash, and green squash. And my uh, potatoes are red. So I'm doing a whole mix. Sorry. Okay. So you give me the green light on the cabbage. I'm down with that too. This beer has goodies in the bottom too, by the way. So if you get this, you need to do the swirly swirl there, as Greg's beer review would say. I'll give you a gander. Oh, you mean? <clears throat> okay. You mean the you mean the cabbage? See, I would have put it in <laughs> everything all it was, but maybe you're onto something there, you know. 
Dukin Goodies here. Okay, let me put this to my addition for my morning, my morning log. I gotta keep track. I post up all my beers in the morning, so I keep myself accountable. <clears throat> Look at that puppy. Okay, so. I'm, okay, well, I think I'll just add it now and just let it all coagulate. I'm just doing it for the nutritional value for the most part. I want because what I was told. <clears throat> the more color you have in your stew, the better. Okay. Isn't that cool looking? Look <laughs> at that's freaky looking almost. Do we really want to trip out? Watch this. Hang on. See all them hops in the bottom? That's a good beer. Well, it's it's the flu season, I guess. <coughs> I got it pretty bad this year. Cheers, everybody. Mm. That beer is good. Damn it. That is so good. Okay. So. Um, I'm thinking onion first. Because I think onion's the hardest to dissolve. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I've just been overwhelmed lately with, you know, everything. I haven't had a vacation in three years. And I've got a lot, so much chores to do, everything. It just, you know, you just have them moments where... You just like fuck, you know. But if you just take a nap, a nice nap, sleep it off, you wake up, usually everything's fine. If it isn't, you just go right back to bed, and do it again. That's my method. It usually works. It's like a light switch. Turn it on, it turns on, then you turn it off. You know what I'm saying? Take it easy to you. Oh, wow. Okay. I can get that. <clears throat> I heard about that. Don't they have it in like pills too? I heard about it. I think a long time ago I took that and it actually got rid of whatever I was. I had literally cured it. I forgot all about that stuff. Huh, might have to try that again. Yeah. Echinacea. Yep. Stuff's been around forever. I love garlic and onion, by the way. I put a lot in. Mm. Lots of onions. Whoa, you get the flour? Holy moly. That's probably the best way to do it, too. Shoot. Let's eat the flour. Look at that. Head turned into a little ice cream. It tastes like an orange Julius, literally. Okay, what's going to be the next hardest to dissolve? Mm, potatoes. Oh, no, carrots. I think the carrots. Two carrots. Well, I don't know if I could get. Huh. That's a trip. Yeah. You like that? <clears throat> I can't remember where I learned that. Nope. Did you hear that? I just tooted. Sorry. <laughs> I think my dad showed me how to cut those like that. 
Don't cut this in half. I want to go see my mom is what I want to do. She lives in Arizona too. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm slowly getting away from processed foods as much as possible, as much as possible. <clears throat> like, <clears throat> see that little end right there, that little end? I put that in with it because that has like minerals and vitamins in it, that end piece right there, okay? You don't want to throw that out. But you don't want to chew on it either, so you got to kind of watch it, you know. But you want to leave that in there. So it's got minerals in it that you need. The rabbit would eat that. So you guys just think like a rabbit, okay? It makes sounds like a rabbit if you want to. Yeah, my mom lives by in an air um, bullhead, okay? And my dad lived in Arizona, too, Golden Shores. And I swear, they they freaking love it, man. They, they love it. They're always trying to get me to move out there. I probably will because <clears throat> well, my dad died out there. My mom's probably going to die out there. I might as well go out there and die, too, you know, because that's the place to die, I guess. Go retire, you know. My, they, my dad died happy out there, so that said a lot to me. <clears throat> always, always <clears throat> bragged about Arizona, man, how much, how good it was. And you know what? My mom and her husband, too, man, they cannot say enough about Arizona, I swear. My mom's is five foot tall, 357, 45 Magnum gun toting. Freaking old lady, man. It's freaking hilarious. No, I've already kind of kind of realized I'm gonna end up out there anyways, because I, I can't leave my mom out there alone. You know, if she loses her husband, I'm I'll be there, you know. Plus I gotta take the house over and uh handle that because I'm I'm the only child, so plus uh <clears throat> It is beautiful out there, by the way. It really is. I'm good. I mean, I'm actually kind of over California. I'm, I'm tired of the crap going on here in California. <coughs> it's just ridiculous, man. The cost of living here is so unbelievable. It's, it's almost priced me out, to be honest. I'm getting priced out here in California, man. Really. Yeah, bummer, man. Yeah, well, my mom's my number one, and honestly, no one, no one will ever be, no one will ever take place of my mom. Not even if I ever get married, my mom still comes first. It's, that's just how it is. I'm a mama's boy, okay? Always will be. My mom comes first, regardless. Period. So it is what it is, you know. What can I say? I'm a mama's boy. You know, I, I, I love. There's not a thing on this planet I love more than my mom. It's just that simple, you know. Well, let's see. Next, uh, why? There, <coughs> I'll wait to do the jalapeno because. Uh, Yep, that's right. Family's first, always. <coughs> Especially mom, because mom is mom. Mom rules all. That's all there is to it. It's that simple. So I'll save this to last in case I happen to, like, get it on my hands and I won't rub my eyes and have to suffer through the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? So, next big thing. Let's do celery, I guess. Get that over with. 
So I usually just do a few of these and then I save the rest and chop them up in my salads. Uh, sorry. All right. Let's see here. One, let's do two, three, four. And then I'll save the rest. Okay. Uh, sorry. Um, let me just do it that. Ah, shit balls and cheese squares. I'll put this in here. Or I'll take these and put like peanut butter in them and eat them. Like, boom. Save that. <coughs> I was going to wash the COVID off everything. You know, everybody breathes all over it. The general public. Yeah, it's very good. All Stater Brothers, man. I that's the only place I'll shop Stater Brothers when I get my stuff, you know. Got to get the colors. More colors. There we go. <coughs> All right. Next victim. I say potatoes. Yeah, potatoes. Wait. Mm. Yeah, let's get the garlic out of the way. I put a whole garlic in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got to do whatever's comfortable, you know. Do whatever's comfortable. <coughs> the garlic's the real trick, though, really. I don't know if I got my own way of doing it, but everybody does their own thing, you know. But garlic's the hardest part of the whole thing. You know? Break it up first. Okay, boom. Love garlic, man. So good. Okay. So I just call it, um, all I do is I, oops, wow, that one just popped right out there. It's it off. I just call it smash the cockroach. It's just like smashing a cockroach. Ew. Ooh, smashed cockroach. Boom. Just like that. Once you do that, you peel the cockroach skin off. Okay. There. And it just comes off pretty easily. Like this. Boom. Okay. Off to the side. And once you smash them, the skin just comes right off. Boom, boom, boom. This is healthy, uh, the garlic, super. I mean, you could really, like, probably cook cockroaches in it. It would probably be nutritional, but, eh, I'll pass. Yeah. There we go. Boom. Yeah. On the on the floor? Really? How weird. Huh. I'll have to see that someday. Huh. See how you do that? Just grab it by the top and then the little things just come right out. But when you smash the cockroach, you do have to have a lot of pressure. You know. 
nasty cockroach. This is a must. Garlic must. 100%. So the difference between this batch and the last batch I made is um, I'm putting the um, cabbage in and this Lowry's seasoning. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Never heard of that on the floor. Hmm. Seasoning. <coughs> My dad was a really good cook. Um, he could make leftovers into a gourmet meal, I swear, man. It's pretty crazy. I might get that knack from him. You know, I don't really think know if I have a knack, but I like home cooking as opposed to like eating out. Hands down. And it's almost like therapeutic for me, I swear. Some people don't like cooking. I do. I like it. Okay, there's there. That's that. Okay, so get these peels on out of here. Well, we have a test here. What's going on? That was just a test. <coughs> <coughs> It's like a dry, unproductive cough, I swear. So here's all my garlic, okay? I'm going to chop it up. There it is. Okay. Into the pot. Get up in there. All right. <coughs> oh, that's good. That's good. And that's why you're as healthy as you are, too. I swear, the key to long life is eating, eating food, man. Like real food, not processed crap. Yeah, I'm 54 years old, and I got a little beer belly, but I'll tell you what, I'm pretty darn healthy, minus my little cough, but pretty darn healthy, man, I think, I think, let's do taters next, well, it, it just tastes better, I mean, real food, just, I just think it, it just tastes better, you know, red potatoes, because they have color, more color, the better, right? You want to taste the rainbow. You know what I'm saying? Chop these up good. I mean, this whole... This whole batch of stew is going to cost me like 20 bucks, <coughs> and I'll eat on it for four, <coughs> four to five days. <coughs> Damn it. I'm, I wonder if I should take Mucinex. Get me a productive cough, though. I mean, this dry cough ain't doing nothing. I was on Robitussin DM, and it suppressed the cough, but then it stopped working after about four days. There's my tater. There's my taters. Okay. Red potatoes. We've got color. Bacon. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I like baked potatoes too, but for my stew, I like the the reds. But when I do a steak, I like the big the big baked potatoes. Oh, show! All right, let's do 
snake victim. I'm saving one of these for my chicken, my chicken fajitas that I'm gonna make tomorrow. Okay, let's do this guy. I got a pretty cool little recipe for like homemade chicken um, fajitas, you know. Maybe I'll have to go live for that too. Now that I'm monetized. Boom. Lep showed me how to do that little trick. So you just take that. And you take this little middle. Comes right out. Throw this out. And there you go. See? Boom. Yeah. Let's go boom. One. Two. Lep, Lep is a damn good cook, man. That guy's pretty damn impressive. Mr. Lep. Mm -hmm. Got to have peppers, man, right? We'll get that and just chop it <coughs> pretty good. The better you chop it, the more stuff you can put in the stew. So I'm thinking what I can do now. Yep. I'm going to put this in now, like right in the middle of it, you know, right in the middle. Because I got other stuff to go over this. So I'll put this right in the middle. Okay. Lollies. There we go. See, that'll take place of this, what I usually use. So I'll put, I had like a little bit of this. I'll use the rest of this and then the rest of water. <coughs> Do you like this because it's called Laurie's? Yeah. Just kidding. So let's do this guy. Next victim. Another another pepper. Red one. Get that pepper off there. Nice red pepper. Yeah. That'll add a lot of color to it. Oh yeah. Boom. The electric. I like it because when I get off work, sometimes I'm so hungry. <coughs> I don't have the patience to cook something. I want to eat something now as soon as I get home. So the stew's always ready to go, you know. Plus, on top of that, you're actually getting some nutrition into your system, which is a good thing always, right? You know. So it's always good to have it at hand. If I get a bowl, a bowl of this in my body a day, I'm I'm good. I'm good. Okay. It's like taking a bowl of vitamins and minerals every day. It's the way I see it. It's a must. <clears throat> you could literally live on this. Only all, if you just ate this by itself, you could easily survive very healthy and very inexpensively. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Just chop this up. Of the lorries. <coughs> Damn, freaking dry cough. Cheers, thanks for hanging out. Ah. 
best bread in the world. Next victim. Let's do a green one, a small green one, and then that's good for the peppers. Okay. Good night. Okay. All right, Sparkles. Catch you later. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you. Thanks for the tips, too. Yeah, I know, and I gotta start worrying about copyright stuff. Squashes in there. Squishies. Squishy, squishy. Tomatoes, get some maters in there. Get the mater, get the mater, <laughs> get the I'll be glad I did this tonight because I'll have this to eat tomorrow night. You know what I'm So, 
that's that. <coughs> mm, maybe one more tomato, and I think it'll be good. One more tomato. One more mater. Then I'm going to put the secret ingredient in that I've never tried before, okay? So let's do this. I'm going to do the secret ingredient. Okay. It won't be a secret for long. There we go. Okay, that's enough tomato. Boom. Right. <clears throat> so, all right, I'm going to do this guy now. This is one of the secret ingredients jalapeno pepper. Okay. Boom. So, um, let me scrape this out. Seeds out, no seeds allowed. There we go. So, you got to make sure you don't rub your eyes after this, okay, because you will know you have cut a jalapeno. Okay, chop that up real good. There we go, good enough. All right, here's the secret ingredient. This is a new bungee jump here, okay. Green cabbage, okay, and beef stew. We're gonna do it. Get that first layer off. Gonna get that uh, get all the COVID off. There. Yeah, I'll probably use that. Just rinse it. There we go. There. Okay. So that this 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 ought to be interesting. Sparkle said it will work, so I'm gonna go by what Sparkle said. She's got the experience. Okay. Cabbage. Yeah. Okay, let's see how this do. Okay. <coughs> I'm gonna chop it up. <coughs> we'll put it in. Let's see if we have room for anything after that. Um, I think I could do more actually, a little bit more. This is my fiber right here. Should do it. <clears throat> the rest I'll put in my salads for lunch. Okay. 
Okay, that should do it. That should be perfect. All right. All right. So, we'll spread that. All right, so let's put the rest of this. Okay. okay, now the rest of the water. Not putting any seasonings in because I put a, a Lori's seasoning package in, so that should cover. Tired of this freaking cough, Mary. Probably need the antibiotics or something. Yeah, I see it. That's it. That's it. There it is. Cool. Be good, like ready to go tomorrow. By this time tomorrow, it'll be ready to grab. Alright, take trash out. Shit. Alright. Um. Let's see here. Okay. That's cool. Got that handled. Oh, shit balls and cheese squares. I missed a freaking potato. Um, yeah, let's put it in. Put it. I have to do it. I'm gonna do it. Put it in. Guess what she said. <laughs> Chop this one up real fine though. Okay. It'll fit. That's what she said. Yeah. Just kidding. Yeah. Yeah. 
There we go. That's packed. It's going to be a big batch. That's it. Just for shits and giggles. <laughs> I'm going to throw in a bully on a cube beef one. Just for that extra kick. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. There we go. Boom. Okay, this puppy's growing. He's growing, man. Shy's going. Good, good, good. Goody, good, goody. So that was that, right? Uh, got the stew going. Hang on, need my beer. Be right back. Okay, have it your way. Ouch! But then, you want the 
London. Well, but that's different. Yeah. I mean, there are rules there, too. You know what I mean? Do you? <laughs> it was different for you guys. I mean, we were both in the same place, right? In London. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so when Monica and I were both in London. Yeah. All right. That's a bad idea. Yeah. That's done. So what's up, peeps? What's all doing? Cheers. You guys want to see something cool? Check this out. Got hops. Look at that. Would you just look at it? Look at it. Don't just look at it. Drink it. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. We're going to drink it. We're going to look at it and drink it. Uh, so, it's a big night for me. Thanks to my brother, Rod J, and his friends. He got me to a thousand subs tonight. So, that's too cool. Thank you, Rod, if you see this. Appreciate you, man. You're a cool dude. One of the best beer reviewers uh, on the planet Earth, in my opinion. So much appreciated you and your peeps doing that for me, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you up another beer mail package soon. I will, okay? Oh, my God. Our child will be beaten to death in the schoolyard. Okay. So I'm going to enjoy this beer and uh, call it macaroni. So we got the stew going. Hopefully it turns out with the new, you know, kind of tweak to the recipe. And um, <clears throat> we shall see. I mean, <clears throat> I had sparkle. Whoa. They're helping me. My lungs are fucked up, man. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> I can't even talk without fucking coughing, it seems like. I'm going to go to the doctor tomorrow. That's it. It's probably fucking pneumonia or COVID or something. I feel fine. It's just weird lung shit, man. Just dry cough. So anyways, uh, thanks for stopping by and um, uh, appreciate y'all. And y'all have an awesome evening and stay tuned for uh, my uh, my vlog in the morning. We'll see how possibly hungover I might be. Hopefully not. But it is my Sunday, so I'll be all right. Do have a beer review coming up tomorrow as well. So thanks for stopping by. Have an amazing evening. Sleep well. And we'll catch you later. See ya.